Howdy folks, Ben from Snowies. Today I'm going to show you how you can put an extra brass eyelet with these kits in a tarp, a ground sheet, or even in an awning, any canvas material, heavy duty materials. You can add extra peg points or tie points to any of those. You can put them in, uh, th th this is a, a mesh ground sheet or shade cloth, easy to put in those, or what I'm going to show you today is how to put it in, just your basic tarp here. So what I'm going to do is put an extra eyelet in so next to the corner of, of the existing eyelet here. Might be handy if, you've, um, if your tent sits in a certain position and the existing pe uh, peg points don't work for you and you just need to put an extra peg point in there. Um, even if there is a peg point in the middle of a tarp that you want to put to be able to put a, a, a peg through a tarp, you can use these to put a nice neat little hole in there so that it doesn't tear. Now what we need to do that is one of these kits. Now there's, there's two versions of this. There's one kit that actually comes with a little tool in it, this tool here. If you haven't already got this tool, then you need to buy the kit with the tool in it. And then there's another kit that comes with just extra eyelets. So make sure you get the tool first before you, if you, if you just buy the eyelets, you're gonna find it hard to put them all in there. Now in those kits, you've got um, two types of fittings, top and a bottom section of the eyelet, and then the top and the bottom section of the tool. So to put the, the tarp in there first, we need to just put a little hole in the tarp. So I will grab a knife. You can use a knife or even if you've got um, a small implement just to burn a small hole in it. Burning it can sort of um, tend to stop it from tearing a little bit, but I'm gonna carefully poke a little hole in the, in the tarp here. Just big enough to be able to fit this through. I don't want it any bigger than that. So I'll just work my way around here and make a small hole. So I've made a hole big enough for me to just firmly push that piece through so it just sticks out the other side there. Now we're ready to put the eyelet in place now. So what we need to do is place the bottom bit. We grab the second part of the brass fitting. This has got little teeth on it. The teeth need to stick up because they sort of bend over and grab hold of the material as you hammer it together. From there, we grab this piece and put it so that the, the um, smaller end or the end that's sticking out goes down towards the bottom of the tool and that then pushes in between make sure it sits nice and flat then we grab the top piece it's got a flat side and a side with a bevel in it the bevel needs to go downwards onto the uh, eyelet so that it cups it nicely and we'll fold it over as we hammer it so to make sure the fabric sits nice and flat around the edge grab a hammer now we don't want to hit it too hard, you don't want to belt it so hard that you end up clamping it and damaging the fabric. We just want to hit it so that it just comes nice, uh, closely together and, and grips the fabric. I'm just going to tap it gently so that it seals nice and evenly around the edge of the eyelet there. And that feels pretty good. So I haven't hit that really hard. This inside edge, the top bit that sticks out here, has curled over to grip the bottom piece here. The little teeth have gripped into the fabric and that feels like it's nice and firmly in place. So I've now got a second peg point in the side of my top there. As easy as that. You can pick these kits up off our website. Lowest prices every day. Free delivery Australia wide at snowies.com.au. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.